Welcome to this week's Richards Report. We're doing an interview this week with two Irish boys that you might have seen out in the football field. That is Chris McCaig and Tyg Mc Tyg Canelli. Tyg Mc who? Oh, there we are. All right, oh, it's not working too well this week. Now, uh, boys, you've got your own TV show, the. Uh, Irish Corner, and I've got my TV show, Richard's Report. I was just wondering, does it annoy you that I've been nom nominated for a Logie? What? He's kidding himself, isn't he? No, 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 mate. I thought you were, it's an honest program, this is. But you, it you, is an honest you, you program. Start, you started the show by telling a fib, telling a lie to people at home. Chrissy? Um... I don't even know what a logie is, so... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> love it! I love it! I love it! Alright, moving right along. Mate, you've been doing Irish Corner for about a year. Yeah. And I'm on my... This is my third episode. Does it annoy you that I've got a Best Of DVD already coming out? <laughs> More lies. Look, I'm going to get up and walk out of this interview if it's just going to continue with lies. Okay, I'm not happy with it. Um, our viewers are very happy. Keep getting in the fan mail. It's fantastic, and uh, I'm heading over to Hollywood to uh, actually uh, do do a bit of stuff in the coming weeks. Coming weeks. Oh, help yourself to some bread, mate. <laughs> it's, really, it's really insulting, isn't it, Chrissy? Poor people of Ireland had famine. We ended up eating bread and water. We don't even have water. What kind of a show is this? Look, he's got water. We, we, we don't even have water, Chrissy. We got budget issues. <laughs> Spe no, no budget. Hang on, hang on, no budget issues at Irish Corner. We got the money flowing. It's such a good show. So, that's what I want to talk to you about. Uh, yes, uh -huh. there's that trademark badge. Spending ridiculous amounts of money on stupid <laughs> little gimmicks like this thing. <laughs> Just trying to get ratings, whereas for me it's just all about content and not so much crap at the start. What's going on here? You see? Um, well, basically it's the, it's the badge of Irish Corner. It was... Uh, Created by Jesse White, so um, have, he's quite artistic, obviously, and uh, it's uh, got really uh, good reviews, hasn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. Have a look at it, Teddy. <clears throat> it's just up there with Adidas, the thick, you know, and Nike, and it's got Puma logo. It's the exact same, mate. It's up there on the world. People know when they look at it, Irish Corner. It's, it's, it's an IC cost. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I'm a big fan of doppelgangers. Chris. You and Chris, uh, you and Bernard Tomic, are you related? And actually, a really interesting story, Ted. One that I feel too much time. <laughs> <laughs> um, you almost uh, won in Wimbledon last night. Moving right along, your hair is always impeccably well groomed. Yes, natural. <laughs> there is a resemblance to the great Ray Martin. Do you know who this guy is? No. I think you do. Your hair and his hair, massive similarities. There's a higher similarity between myself and Bernard Tomic. That's a, there's no similarities at all, he, I don't think. He wouldn't get a gig in Irish Corner. But, oh. He wouldn't get a gig in Irish Corner. Now, Chris, how old are you? 21 years of age. You're 21? Yes. Oh, I'm in my 20s. Yes. Pike, how old are you? I'm 29, brother. Well... Tomorrow you turn 30. No longer in the 20s. I, I found that on Google. I thought I'd do pretty well to find that. Fantastic. See, I've got to do my own research. I don't have any of Jesse White making pictures for me. Um, tell me about moving into the 30s. Yeah, look, it's, uh, it's quite exciting. Um, I've got another night of 29 and uh, I'm going to make the most of it. But, uh, it's, uh, it's a big, big day for me. But uh, look, it's... Uh, been here nearly 12 years now, so it's nearly half my life, which is, uh, which is pretty huge, but uh, still got you covered, Teddy. Okay. Well, Ty, all the best for the birthday tomorrow. And here at, here at the Richards Report, no one goes away empty-handed. <laughs> here are some Swans hats. Thank you. Chris, all the best this weekend. Tig, all the best for the birthday tomorrow. And uh, I'll be seeing you at the airport tomorrow and we're off to Adelaide. Thanks for having us, Teddy. Look, it's, uh, it's a great show and uh, really looking forward to it to uh, hitting the slumps of uh, the rest of the world. Yeah, thanks very much, Teddy, for having us on. Um, 
the props are uh, still a little bit proppy, but um, Irish Corner next week, tune in. Tune in next week, Irish Corner. Well, <laughs> and do you feel privileged to be on a, a top rating show like the Richards Report as opposed to, uh, I guess, just crap that, <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that the Irish Corner is? Yeah. Um, Swans TV have been fortunate enough to to get the services of quite a few high personnel this year, but um, you know, with Stats and Lay, the monthly figures, Irish Corner has been way, way above the top, so you've a lot to get uh, to aspire to. I, I don't know okay. what I don't know what rating you're looking at, but uh, we're number one. Bad. Okay, and I'll wrap it up there. Thanks very much, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>